Hi everyone, I hope you're okay. Gary Waterman here, a former police officer and a recent Christian. I'm getting so many emails from all over the world now. This is really gaining traction and it really needs to. And I honestly think this is going to change the world. Now, obviously, I'm uncovering extremely serious matters, irrefutable links to international fraud that links to the World Trade Center, Gislin Maxwell, Robert Maxwell, Max Clifford and Jeffrey Epstein. When this all started happening, I had apps trying to be installed to track my location. My emails had been infiltrated, emails deleted, documents within emails altered. Hello and welcome to this special announcement from the feared and famous 77th Brigade. Less than a week ago, I held a poll on X to ask how long it would be before XPC Gary would appear on the Charlie Ward Show and 64% of my followers guessed right. Less than four days later, it's announced that XPC Gary will be appearing on the Charlie Ward Show. I wonder how XPC Gary's story of uncovering human child trafficking will go down with Charlie Ward. Charlie knows all about trafficking children as he did a lot child trafficking when he was taking underage girls onto BBC Top of the Pops in the 1980s to get shagged. Really? Many, many years ago I was in, involved with a, a certain television personality that allowed me access into the BBC. I used to be able to get onto a very famous program called Top of the Pops. And a lot of the girls would say to me, Charlie, Charlie, get me on top of the pops. And I could take probably five or ten girls on a week. And I said, well, I'll take you on, but you'll end up having to shag the bloke that, um, if, you know, he'll probably want to shag. And they were yeah. like, no problem, no problem. We come, we come, you know. Yeah. Not, there was never a problem. Right. Now, 30 years on. Dave knows. And then their marriages I, I dissolved and they're in their well. 50s and 60s. It's suddenly become a problem. It wasn't a problem all those years ago. Right, right, exactly. And I remember yeah. these girls saying, I'm quite happy to come there. So... I'm very, very careful. Now, there is a lot of bad things what going on. What were those age numbers again? And there was bad things going on there because a lot of these and girls uh, were young girls, you know. Um, mm. And then, back in the sort of 80s, you, I didn't think anything of it. Well, it was Bad things going on there because a lot of these and girls uh, were young girls, you know. Bad things going on there because a lot of these and girls uh, were young girls, you know. I doubt very much that Charlie Ward confession of taking underaged girls onto Top of the Pops in the 1980s will phase XPC Gary Waterman. After all, he is just clout chasing to get his story out, so why let a child sex trafficker's past get in the way? I don't have psychic powers or a crystal ball, I just spot patterns and every truther and flunser that springs up on the UK truther scene follow the same path. XPC Gary Waterman is not a unique case. As pointed out by David A. Lading on X, who said, the 77th would like to congratulate ex-policeman Gary Waterman for his successful launch. Gary replaces ex-policeman John Wedger in this difficult role of boosting far-right mimetic propaganda as part of the National Conspira Fash PSYOP program. Good luck, Gary. I wonder how ex-PC Gary who praises himself as a recent righteous Christian would react to when the ex-Scotland Yard detective turned truther grifter appeared on the Charlie Ward show. Let's, let's play a child porn video one day. Let's play it and I know it sounds appalling, but let's see the reality of what these young children have to go through. Let's see the physical injuries that they endure, the fear in their eyes yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and that's not even going near the satanic stuff no. and then the snuff movies <clears throat> and i tell you what there won't be one decent individual left wing right wing or indifferent that won't want hanging brought back no. the next day you know i've been to the videos and they've made me I've had, I've had to turn them off john they were so yep. disgusting yeah but, but i mean i'm talking no. the next day you know, I've been to the videos and they've made me. I've had, I've had to turn them off, John. They were so yep. disgusting. Yeah, but, but I mean, I'm talking. Yes, you heard that right. Ex Metropolitan Police Detective turned truther grifter John Wedger just suggested people watch horrific, highly illegal child abuse videos that could land you on the sex register just being in possession of them. And Charlie Ward admitted that he had been sent videos that were that disgusting he had to turn them off.
If any normal person was ever sent anything like that they would contact the police and report it straight away and hand the device into the authorities, if Charlie Ward is being sent stuff like that, it shows his what kind of friends he keeps as a righteous Christian will ex-police officer Gary Waterman start to investigate his newfound friends. Seeing how there is indisputable video evidence of Charlie Ward admitting to child sex trafficking in the 80s and being sent horrific abuse videos, will righteous Christian and ex-police officer Gary Waterman launch a world-changing investigation? We won't mention the scams Charlie Ward has been involved in like the medbeds, but that's a story for another video all by itself. XPC Gary Waterman in his search for fame has either thrown his moral compass out of the window, or he hasn't bothered to do a bit of basic background research on the popal he is reaching out to. My name is Gary Waterman. I'm a former police officer and I'm a Christian. I'm going to say that. as Some people have told me not to, including some Christians. Jesus. Hey. I can't do it anymore. I can't watch one more of your freaking videos and sit back and go, you know what? I'm Jesus. I'm okay with this. You're a terrible human being. You are a bad person. You're just bad. You're bad at all of the humaning that you do. It's so bad on every level. It's a bad thing. Please stop. Please don't do it anymore. Rethink your life. Reevaluate it. Come back to us and I'm sure we'll accept you with loving arms. We will. The internet, we're pretty, we're pretty forgivable. We're, 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 we're a good bunch. But right now, we're sick of your shit, okay? Because you're full of it and it's bullshit. Stop it.